Member Statements from Dufferin Caledon. I am pleased to rise today to recognize Friday, December 3rd as International Day of Persons with a Disability. It is a day to recognize how far we have come, but also how much further we need to go. Of all, the ins all of the institutions housing Ontarians with an intellectual disability have now been closed, and individuals now live in inclusive, supportive residence within our communities. However, we still allow striking workers to picket those supported living residents during times of labour unrest. This does not support the concept of respect and dignity individuals deserve. When the Liberal government released their budget in March, it was revealed that they were backtracking on their commitment to provide a yearly 2% base funding increase for community living agencies. This broken promise greatly affects the more than 12,000 Ontarians with an intellectual disability currently sitting on a waiting list for residential supports. In Toronto alone, approximately 4,000 families are on the wait list for special services at home. And what is most troubling, no new applications have been approved since 2008. Yet this Liberal government continues to make funding announcement after funding announcement, prioritizing scholarships for foreign students instead of fixing the issues that are present today. 15% of all Ontarians live or will live with a disability, and this number is rising as our population ages. So as we take a moment to recognize tomorrow as International Day of Persons with a Disability, we must acknowledge our legislative responsibility to assist our friends and neighbours who live every day with a disability.